Cataractcoach.com. Saving the capsule bag in Ectopia lentis. The key is to start with a good capsule rexus, and that's not easy. So here's the case here. Look how difficult it is to poke into the lens capsule. So using a sharp MVR blade for the anterior capsule puncture, you could also use a cystotome. But because you have such lax on your support here, the capsule is kind of loosey, loosey-goosey as we say in English. And that means it's just not strong. It's not taut. And as a result, it's hard to create this capsule rexus. So notice how the surgeon is very smart in creating a capsule rexus centered on the lens, even though you can't see the whole lens. So that's why the rexus looks like it does here. And so you want to get this rectus centered on the lens itself. Now you can use hooks here to help bring that lens back centrally. But this patient, for whatever reason, has a lot of zinal laxity and loss. And that's causing some severe subluxation of this um, crystalline lens. So finishing up the rectus here, taking your time here, it's not easy. Look at all the wrinkles there. That indicates a challenge. Wrinkles there like that, that's tough. Now, let me tell you about cataractcoach.com, our teaching website. There's so much great material. I promise you'll learn so much. Just do me a favor and check it out. I promise. Anyway, going back to our case here, finally completing the rexus. This is the hard part of the surgery. I mean, look at the lens. It's not like there's nuclear density. It's not like you have to know how to do phaco chop here. The lens is butter soft. And in this case, the surgeon is going to save the capsule bag. So using hooks here. Now, you can use iris hooks. There are also specialized capsule hooks. Because watch the iris hooks. If you're not careful, those iris hooks can poke through the capsule and damage it. But fortunately here, it all looks pretty good. By manual eye to remove it. Now, look at this. Here comes a capsule retention segment with a 6.0 proline creating a flange there. So that flange is going to go through the eyelet of the capsule retention segment. The other end is going to be used to anchor it to the sclera. Here's the 30 gauge TSK needle to passing it through that scleral tunnel. And it's not just poking through the sclera, it's creating a tunnel, that's important. Now you can dock and externalize that 6-O proline suture, put it inside that third, inside the lumen of the 30 gauge needle and slowly bring it outside the eye here. And then once that's brought outside the eye, now you can pull that suture through and now you can get that capsule retention segment in the capsule bag. And that's gonna give you some good support here. So there's the capsule retention segment. Now you can slowly take out these um, iris hooks. Again, those iris hooks are being used to hold the lens capsule. There are dedicated lens capsule hooks if you want to use those, but bring these out of the eye nice and easy. There you go. And do the other one as well. And then now look slowly tightening up that capsule retention segment. And that looks great. Remember, the eyelet goes above the capsule rexus. And so pull on it gently, get it centered when, when you're happy with the centration. A little bit of cautery here to create another flange. That flange is going to be buried within the sclera. And now you've got some great support here. And so again, not clear why this patient had such a great subluxation. The video we showed you last week was homocysteinuria. But in that case, the surgeon just sacrificed the whole capsule bag into the Yamane. Here, saving the capsule bag. Now... A CTR, capsule retention ring, is, is implanted in the bag using a two-handed technique also. Being careful not to get it tangled up with the existing CTS, the capsule retention segment. So then here, a Sinsky hook using it to grab that last eyelet and get that delivered in the bag very gently and nicely. There you go, making sure they're not entangled with each other. And that goes in the capsule bag. And this is going to help distribute the forces evenly. At this point, you could put in essentially any kind of lens you want in the capsule bag. Here comes a single piece uh, foldable lens going in the capsule bag. Looks like an acrylic lens. Nice and easy. Get that delivered and open that up. And patient's going to have a beautiful outcome. That's a beautiful case here. Fantastic job, doctor. Thanks for sending the video in. If you want to send your video, go to cataractcoach.com. There's a link that says, hey, doctor, submit your video right here. You can go and see how exactly to submit your video. Happy to receive it. Happy to review it. But we get 30 or 40 videos a week.